Hey guys, it is me Simone and in this third part series of how I'm inventorying all my craft supplies we're going to talk about embossing folders. So let's get started. So my last video I talked about my dies. I have at this moment in time completed all the dies that I have received that I know of. The only dies I have not inventoried yet will be the ones that go with my stamps. Um, that's the only dies I have not inventoried. So when that happens, I'll do those. So let me show you that. This took a while. I think there's one die that's not in here because I'm using it at the moment in time. It's a big old circle. Yeah. It's a bigger circle die. That's like one die that's not in here. But I'm pretty much finished. I can move on. I just have to do that one thing and add it in here. So um, I showed you I already talked about the section. So. I'm not going to really go into it too much. I stopped to give myself a breather and then of course to get more supplies. I, I was running out of colored car stock that I wanted to use in here. So that's another reason why I stopped. So just going to show you everything and then I'll put the tabs in here later. You really can't see that, but I'm using an off-white color. And then we're done. Okay. So let's move over to my embossing folders for you guys. So you can see how I'm inventorying those. So it's my embossing folders. There are different ways you can do it. One of the ways I saw was you get the embossing folder, you open it up, you get a crayon, and then you just... Uh, draw over it so I would get an embossing folder um, open it up and then put paper on top of it and get a marker or crayon and basically the crayon will just hit all the high points of your embossing folder and give you an impression I started off with that but I wasn't really liking how it was turning out um, because it's, that was a little quicker than me going through and embossing everything not really actually that's what I thought at first, but I just went through and embossed all my embossing folders and put them in here because unlike my dies, I did not really have any idea <laughs> of uh, the embossing folders I had gotten because uh, I don't use them like that, so I totally forgot. And that's one of the reasons why I haven't purchased any embossing folders because I don't really know what I have and I wasn't really using them, so hopefully this will help me use them more and if not, I can get rid of them. So what I did is I got some index card and I embossed them, put two embossing folders in at one time and then ran it through the prices went by really quickly. I have about 32 embossing folders. This didn't take me more than like 30 minutes to do it, not even. It went, it went by so quickly compared to like cutting all my dies out. Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, after that, I know these will get smushed a little bit being in this binder and having these pages on top of them. So to combat that, what I'm doing is I actually went over them with a marker and then just scribbled on top of them. So my marker only caught the high points of the paper so I can see the pattern clearly. So if this smushes down more over time, I still get the idea what this pattern is. Some of them I wished I was more like selective. Like I just went in and just kind of colored the images like with this a star right here. You can barely see it, but there's a star right here. It's kind of flat compared to the other ones, not as raised. So for me, I would need, I wish I didn't do it like this because it's a little bit hard to see the pattern on here. And it works really well if your embossing folder actually does it raised. It really helps. One, if you want to, what I would do for some of them, like this one here, I'll be a little more selective and actually just kind of color the flowers just like just doing the section this section this section this section and then you see with this this is actually a mason jar and I made sure I kind of positioned the index card in there that showed me a better just what this embossing folder was and then other ones like that with my feathers right here I just kind of went over one feather at a time instead of scribbling over all of them because I wasn't like how it was turning out I want the red to pop and show me the design, not just kind of fade in. Alright. 
so with this most of my embossing folders have just a generic background not really any focus so because of that I just threw the index card in there and then just embossed it with ones that did have a specific uh, focus or or image like the mason jar I made sure I put it that majority of the image embossed image is embossed into my index card I know what it is um, this one's just embossing folder of bird cages I knew what I was doing so I definitely tell you to just make sure if it is an image you try to get it somewhere in the center or middle ish so you know what you're getting when you're embossing and stuff Alright, after I did all of that, then I went through and I, well actually I made an organization box for them inspired by some other people's organizations folders, and then I numbered all of my embossing folders. So you guys might not be able to see this since I can bring it up to camera, but there's a number right above each of these embossing folders and it's just EB embossing folder. So the EB uh, stands for embossed for me you can do however you want to you can do EF um, embossed folder whatever you want it just, it just depends on you and I gave it a number I start off in the hundreds you can just do one two three four five I like 101 and 102 and whatever so it actually starts off 101 not 100 I don't know I just wanted to do and then it just goes down so 101 all the way up to One thirty-two. So you can do however you want to with this process and go simple. Now you see this is the only this is the one that I have not glued them back to back. It's only glued on one side because unlike my dies with specific dies, I know that I could get rid of these and I don't want to have to go through and emboss all these folders up. I know myself I wouldn't want to just exit out because I feel like it would just look kind of weird to me. So I don't want to do all that. So only three, only uh, four of them are glued to one page. And if I do get rid of one or two, I only have to re. I guess I couldn't take this off, or I only have to put on one new one, whatever, and not have to completely do several pages over and over again. So I like that. So this is all in order, and then I did the box. So really simple way I can flip through this and find my dot my embossing folders and they are in this order in their box so let me put my box these up and show you so in my box i just made this out of foam core because i had foam core lying around and it just says embossing folders on it with some pattern paper so what i did in here you can see the little tabs i got these tabs from dollar tree just little plastic tabs I recommend getting plastic because if they do bend they're going to pop back up and like paper tabs will fold and they're not going to kind of pop back up they'll crease and stay there permanently so if you go in here you'll see they're kind of in order but they're not at the same time i have embossing folders that are like five by seven which let me just get one of them out of here like this one it's big embossing folders five by seven and most of my embossing folders are like an A2 size card base so you can see the difference of them so I didn't want to do a whole that so I'm bigger embossing folders in the back and all my smaller ones are in the front so how does this work is I go over the tab and I just write EB 101 or 102 or 107 whatever it is and then I put it in here in that order the only ones that are not order are bigger ones because they can't go in order because I want to make sure I still see the smaller ones. There is one embossing folder that's not in here and it's my birdcage one because it's much longer. It's like almost 12 inches long and it doesn't fit in this box. And I really didn't want to make that big old box for that so I'm just going to have it on my shelf and I know it's the, one, the only embossing folder that's not in here. Other embossing folders like this one, which is a 3D embossing folder, I make sure I include the packaging with it because it has a different way of being put into your embossing machines that I need to make sure I remember and I don't use it that much to keep it on the top, you know, keep the information on the back of my hand. So, 
that's what I've been doing and I love it I was super excited to have these all numbered and stuff I did not mark the actual embossing folder so if I wanted to get rid of these I easily had to take off the plastic tab and then keep the plastic tab and give it to another stamp I mean another embossing folder or throw it away whatever it is but there's no markings or anything on here just a piece of plastic that comes off really easily um, you can do other methods of putting actual like, stickers on here but as I said before I want to be able to easily thumb through it that's why I like so I can go through here and okay that's that 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 there's another embossing folder that's not in order and it's this one right here because it's really tiny so this little heart one is not in the order of the rest of them it's just off the side and in my my book, you kind of see that it is this actually filled the entire index card, and I know that's my smallest one. So very simple. This process was really easy. Didn't take too long, and I really do enjoy how it turned out. I am definitely enjoying this, and when projects come about, I can look through them, know what embossing folders I have, and use them more. And then too, if I buy more. I know I already have I don't have to go through and dump out a whole box and bouncing folders and then make sure I have them on my bed where I can see them and then order that way so this makes it easier simple and just gives me better grips of what I have so I hope this is helpful for you guys if you're trying to organize your stuff I know it's not spring yet but you know get a head start know what you have so when it's time to get uh, shopping because of the Christmas money and gifts you know exactly what you need you know put that in parentheses <laughs> you know what you need to make more crafty goodies so much love and i'll talk to you later bye hey crafty